Hello guys, this is the abandoned Loop Oil gas station here in Hackettstown, New Jersey. The signage would have been here, but now it's a space available. And it's been sitting here for quite some time, probably. I think this uh, Loop Oil gas station has been abandoned for about like 11, 12 years. Last time I saw on Google Maps, this place was open in 2009. So I don't know if they closed like a year or two years later, probably like in 2010 or 2011. So this is where they used to have the gas pumps. As you can see, they're no longer here anymore. But the uh, they had a a little uh, convenience store inside, so we're going to check inside. So this space is available through Renato Realty Trust. Mountain Avenue, Hackstown, New Jersey. Let's check it out. It looks like there might have been somebody inside the building. I see some garbage there. Uh, more garbage inside there too. So it looks like somebody has been inside this place. Probably a homeless person. You see coffee, snack bar, beverages, snacks, all to go, sandwich, cigarettes. Stun the sun's starting to come out too, guys, which is nice. It's been a while since we had a really hot, uh, sunny day. So, and we're getting closer to summer too, which is nice. Right now we're in, uh, in the beginning of May. So I'm loving it so far. <laughs> so one of these, uh, ceiling tiles are moldy. Pepsi, uh, I forgot what you call these things. So stupid right now. <laughs> Pepsi fridges. I guess we'll call it that. A Pepsi fridge. <laughs> Let's go around this place real quick. There's a door here. I guess this was for a bathroom and it's locked. I'm not sure what this was for over here, but maybe for vacuuming the car or something. Check the back right here real quick. There's a bike here. Looks like, an, uh, looks like an apartment complex right here. Somebody's bike. Somebody graffitied over it. What type of bike is it? It's a Schwinn bike, I think. So are we really Schwinning? Ugh. So this is uh, the back of their shipping receiving area, the, the Lowe's. Lowe's is very uh, similar to Home Depot. So I don't know what's the difference, but check inside these doors. It's hopefully nobody's inside there. No, I guess this is their uh, auto center area. Not really huge, but. Yeah, it looks like this place hasn't been cleaned in such a long time. But, yeah. You yeah, see broken glass. There's a door here, it's locked. Yeah, somebody definitely got in, inside this place, you can see. It's boarded. So. Can we see through these uh, windows? Yeah, we can. Yeah, there's not really much in here. There's an emergency shutoff switch. Alright guys, that about does it for this uh, abandoned Luke Oil gas station. I don't think a lot of people are going to Luke Oil gas stations too. Uh, I don't want to sound political or anything, but I think it's because of uh, what happened in uh, Russia with the Russia-Ukraine war. And uh, yeah, I think um, a lot of people are boycotting like Russia, uh, Russian items and like in the gas station like Luke Oil. So yeah. 
Well, that does it for this video, guys. I'm heading to my car right now. Just right there. <laughs> right next to the Wendy's. There used to be a Burger King here, too. Like, somewhere over here. I think down this road, Mount Nav. There was also a White Castle here, too, before. I think the auto parts store, which is down there. Where is it? It's, like, down there somewhere. It uh, took over... Yeah, it's right next to the friendlies. It took over the um, the White Castle. I think some point it, they turn uh, they actually tore the White Castle down and put a, a auto parts store there. So mm, there's a KFC right here. Yeah, right, guys, I'm out of here. Heading home right now. Uh, I want to film on uh, Sunday. Definitely want to film on Sunday in the morning. So, we're looking forward to that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I might go to Connecticut again or Pennsylvania. So, we shall see. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day out there, wherever you are, and take care. Peace.